Okay, so my project, um, last year our county started digital conversion, so we're moving towards having a one-to-one -one classroom where all of our kids have laptops. And last year was our first year um, with the digital conversion, and so I'm a ninth grade English teacher. Um, I really have like nine through 12, but I have ninth grade mostly. And last year, first year, they all get laptops. I'm super excited. We get laptops, we have access to Blackboard. Um, it's great, I love digital conversion, but I really, like embodied that first picture over there and I love that the dude's like hitting the computer and pulling his hair out because these kids were not on what they should have been on most of the time. They were on mini clips. You guys know what mini clips is? It's uh, from a place down below and I don't mean the basement. It's games. They were on games. They were on Skype Messenger and you know they have their ways of getting off there before you get to them. Especially when you have a small classroom, all my desks are big and I try to maneuver between them but by the time I get there it's already gone. It's already closed out. Um, so this year I saw going into it I have ninth grade again. What's a way that I can fix that problem? Them being off task at least some of the time in class and I'm aware that this is happening. Um, and really have no way of controlling it. And not just that, but I had to teach my class from the back. So instead of looking at my kids in the face, I'm looking at the back of their heads because I want to see what they're, what's on their laptop screen. So I, don't, I now don't get to look at them. I have to look at the back of their heads. So I found this program and it's called Knee Top Vision. It's ordered right now. I'm really excited to get to use it. I can stand in the front of my classroom, have my laptop on and see every kid's laptop in my room. I can see all of their screens, what they're on, in real time at that second. If they get on something they're not supposed to be on, I can press the button and it closes it out. Or I can shut their laptop down, I can block them from using it. Another cool thing about the knee top is I can share stuff. So instead of saying go to Blackboard, click on this file, whatever, I can just press the button and what's on my screen will go to theirs. They can partner that way too. So if I can do groups and they can share what's on their screen in real time. Um, it's a really like a classroom management and I'm excited about it because I get to be back in the front again as opposed to in the back which is really no fun for me. Screen to screen sharing, um, you can create and administer assessments through Neetop so we have Blackboard but I'll also be able to use it for that. Supervising the usage, that's the big thing, keeping them on task and keeping them on um, you know what they're supposed to be on at that time so that way they utilize the class time instead of mini clips or whatever it is that they're doing. And you can redirect them too, like I can shut their screen off for 10 seconds or something like that and bring it back up. Um, so it'll be interesting, I'm excited to come back later on after I get the program and actually be able to share what it's like. So, questions? Yes? It is about $900, so it used almost all of my money and that's for one teacher and 30 students. But I'm sure if a district said we all want this, I, I mean I'm sure they would probably cut some kind of a deal. So it is kind of expensive and I didn't really do a lot of research on if there was anything else out there that might have been less because uh, I had a thousand dollars so I was like I just found this and this is awesome so I'm going to go with this. They actually have a cheaper one that's 600 The one I'm getting is the Pro so it does the screen sharing but they have one that's 600 that will do the uh, like management one. So question, other questions? Yes. Uh, is it a fixed 30 students per year or can you change those students? I think it's just per year. I think the, actually, I think it goes with the teacher. So, like, I have 30 student accounts. So, if you went from first period to second period, then right? No, I can't. Yeah. You can't go no. So you're fixed with that. 30 yeah, for this year. Yeah. So, we'll see how it works out. Other questions? Okay, that's all I've got.